what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we'll be talking about halloween in this video here today i wanted to share my thoughts on where i could see the franchise going after what has transpired with halloween ends and david gordon green wrapping up his trilogy at blum house with danny mcbride and jason blum and just the narrative route that we could explore going forward with the return of michael myers eventually down the road now for the longest time basically for the longest time many people i know myself i was on this bandwagon at one point wanted to see a sequel to halloween resurrection because we believed it was possible to be done and i still think it is something you can do but my idea at this point is basically going to be borrowing i think this is actually a scrapped idea i haven't really studied this too in depth but i believe this is a scrapped idea at one point that was planned for halloween 9 centering on us meeting a child of dr loomis and how i would kind of put that into the h2o timeline and why i think that could work because for the longest time for me when i was hearing about that type of type of idea for halloween 9 a sequel to resurrection i was like just randomly tossing in a child to loomis but i was neglecting that by this time it, given the timeline we've only seen loomis in two movies halloween and halloween 2 we didn't really learn too much about him outside of that other than just learning about him as a doctor, his connection to Michael Myers, and he had all the appropriate development that was relevant to the plot. We didn't learn too much personally about him. So introducing a child in a ninth movie that maybe is out for revenge against Michael wouldn't be too far fetched. But I would, however, provide some more background onto that child that would make that a little bit more digestible to certain audience members who probably find the idea to be too far fetched. You know, the people who would probably bring up why did we never hear about the child? Again, keep in mind, there would be no reason to bring up a child during anything of what he was doing in those first two movies because he was on the pursuit of Michael Myers and trying to protect the town of Haddonfield. There would re really be no reason to talk about your child at this point. But the context I would give for this missing individual, this child that we never heard about, would be that Loomis had a child that was never really raised around him. He had a child with a woman we'll never see, of course. The child can name the woman. And this Loomis son, daughter, whatever you want it to be, it's up to you. I don't really have it set in stone. It could be either one. They have some narrations or some context dialogue where they exposition exposition dump basically that they were raised by a single parent they were the child of, of dr loomis they did not know that they were the child of dr loomis because this all transpired when they were very young the child and the mother walked away from dr loomis at a very young age and this child was raised separately not knowing anything about their father and maybe you could say that they changed their name even didn't even know they had any ties to anybody named loomis because of how their mother raised them from a very young age their father was never in their life but as they got older they started loving longing for their father to be in their life and they found out that their father was Dr. Sam Loomis but then of course while trying to reach out to him which became a difficulty they end up discovering that he has died he spent his whole life hunting down Michael Myers and from that longing and that new discovery of what has happened to this father you longed for that's where the rage grows and you make it a point to now go after this person who has stolen what you thought you had a chance to have which is a father in your life now that's what i would do to kind of make it a little bit more digestible for these individuals but this person could go out of their way to try to hunt down michael myers after the events of halloween resurrection try to put it into it once and for all i wouldn't necessarily overly focus the story on that person as much as i would have them part of the narrative i would set it a few years after resurrection the town hasn't heard from michael myers but then you center it on a group of teens that are in haddonfield who it's halloween once again they have their own drama going on and that's how that narrative will mostly play out from focusing on these kids who get to have their own developments they are the focus of the story but a side character who's very important because they're making their way to haddonfield would be the son of dr loomis son daughter again it doesn't really matter the child of dr loomis makes their way to haddonfield and they hunt down michael myers and that is how they can be intertwined into the narrative and the only reason i'm not focusing on that child is because again they're just somebody you were just meeting that has a big connection to dr loomis but i don't think that they should necessarily be the focus i just think they should be a key factor in the story you can focus it on a new group of teens similar how resurrection did that but obviously executed a lot better and then on top of that i would also throw in the character of john tate john strode whatever you want to call him i think his name is john tate you could have him return obviously yes at this point you would need to recast the character because of the fact that uh 
what is his name i can't think of his name but uh the one who played john in halloween h2o josh hartnett at that point in time is of course obviously not at the same age that we would need josh hartnett to be at to play this character so he would need to be recast and someone else would be playing john tate john tate can return he can be out for revenge after finding out michael killed his mother and then those two can have again their own little subplot going on but the majority of the movie is set on these new group of teens that they will end up coming to haddonfield to help after they finally realize that michael has returned to haddonfield and they both make make it to haddonfield to save these teens after michael returns starts causing havoc once again on halloween night again the two subplotted characters that are out for revenge will be the child of dr loomis and then john tate the son of uh laurie strode both of them they would be the subplot i don't think that revenge narrative should be the focus because i think you do something much more enriching with a new set of teens to focus on that are living in haddonfield dealing with their own struggles and they obviously know about the legend of michael myers they believe that michael died a couple years ago after he escaped the hospital that's the belief around town because nobody has seen or heard from him since but then of course on halloween night he returns and we can have of course our selected final girl of whatever the narrative wants to choose that person to be again they have their own dramas they have all the same clicks that a final girl would have and then you have the children of laurie strode and dr loomis showing up to save the day that is how i would do it if you would rather see something else completely different as a sequel to h2o you can let me know down in the comment section below i think that preferably would be a safe route to take you set it on a new group of teens but have parts of the story connected to those other previous movies in the timeline and i think a safe way to do that would be introduce a returning John Tate who was out for revenge and then also introducing someone who was tied to the Dr. Loomis character who is also out for, for, for revenge against Michael Myers for their own separate reasons. I just wouldn't put those two as the focus because I think the strong suit of this series has always been depicting Michael Myers stalking teens that don't know that he is present or around and that suspense being built focusing on a narrative like that not two people hunting the shape that can be a subplot uh, i think actually it will probably capture the magic of the original a lot better than the 2018 movie if it's portrayed that way where we see mostly michael stalking some teens that aren't really familiar with him they're just familiar with the legends of michael myers but you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below as a sequel to resurrection do you think that's a good idea if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message be there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video